if you're able to go see this in a theater, if you love big movies, if you love cinema, this is this is one of the ones to see in a theater. Timothy is absolutely wonderful and beautiful and easy to get along with. Um, it was absolutely beautiful. I mean, I, I got to see views that I, I think very few people get to see. It's by far my most musical movie. I never used music music uh, uh, like that before. The whole spectacle of it, the beauty of the cinematography, the performances, what Denise done is just so outstanding. Everyone's just like hyped. Yes, they are. Everybody is definitely hyped. The Stars of G were out in London for the incredible premiere this week. No British gloomy weather was going to stop their celebrations. I'm Max. This is Flippy Wig. Make sure you subscribe and be a part of the community. Dene Villanelle finally releases his masterpiece this Friday in UK cinemas. His two stars, as you can see, Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya were inseparable at the premiere having so much fun and truly they have become besties for life. He's such an easy person to get along with and we became friends instantly and I think I definitely gained a friend for life you know because you know in this industry being able to be two young people that I think can can get on the phone and and really like talk to each other about what's going on and feel a little bit less alone in this very strange life that we lead, lead it's a uh, it's very very helpful. Paul Atreides is a brilliant and gifted young man born into a great destiny beyond his understanding he must travel to the most dangerous planet in the universe to ensure the future of his family and his people no major mission then this was a career defining role for Timothy working with a visionary like Dene Villeneuve. I had a small part in uh, Interstellar, which is a Christopher Nolan movie that I, that I love, but I wasn't a huge role in it. So to get to be a lead in a movie like this, a Denis Villeneuve movie. And like you said, these movies, these sci-fi movies that come around that are actually at a high level, they're, they're few and far between. So to get to be in one, that's definitely a dream come true. We are House Atreides. There is no call we do not answer. There is no faith that we betray. Smile, Gurney. I am smiling. The Emperor asks us to bring peace to Arrakis. House Atreides, accept! Director Dene knew he had the right person when he saw Timothy in one of the most compelling scenes and while shooting the movie. There's a specific scene in the movie, right at the beginning of the movie, called It's a Test, where the, 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 the character, Paul's character, Timothy's character, will uh, suddenly uh, feel that something is awakening inside him, a force that he was not suspecting and, 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 and uh, he was not aware of. And he did that in front of a guy, he transformed, he, he, it's like an inverted exorcist in, in, my, in front of my eyes. And I was so impressed. I knew at that very precise moment that I didn't mess up, that I did the right choice. That, uh, uh, and I was, I'm, I'm, until the, working with Timothy was a, a non-stop uh, 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 amazing process for me. The cast is absolutely incredible, guys. It includes Javier Bardem, Oscar Isaac, Rebecca Ferguson, Josh Brolin, and a certain superhero who truly plays a protector role in Dune. He's pretty badass, the one and only Jason Momoa. I have played a lot of badasses, but I love, I love uh, Duncan the most because he's just, there's so much heart, you know, so much love for the family and Paul and just the way that he serves the family. I, I love that. Normally I play like kings and outcasts and renegades and it's nice to like give everything a summer to give everything to take care of the family. Guys, June is breathtaking with a lot of the scenes filmed on location in the desert. This was an ambitious project, but one that I think has definitely paid off for Dene. A big part of the energy in this film when I was watching it comes from Hans Zimmer's musical score. It was so stunning and dramatic. Hans' score is, is there to bring uh, 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 counterpoints to the character's intention. It is there to reveal things about the, the, the character's uh, inner world and also, more importantly, to bring a kind of a say, spirituality to the movie. And it brings, uh, Hans created all those alien sounds and, and, and strange rhythm. It's like he, he was obsessed with the idea to make music that was coming from an alien world and he totally succeeded. It's one by far one of his most inspired and most inspires, uh, inspiring score. And I'm, I'm, I can't, I'm so grateful uh, I had the chance to work with them. Zendaya fans, as she is instrumental to this story as Chani. And although we get small bursts of her in this film, when she is on screen, she's pretty impactful. Part two is coming. This film was always supposed to be two parts. Dene Villanueva, the director, revealed that recently. And Chani will be leading that story alongside Paul. I was able to really sub like be submerged in the world of Dune, you know, I felt like I was literally in Arrakis, so uh, it was I was incredibly grateful for the whole journey and very excited for more people to see it um, and I hope everyone enjoys it um, because I, I would love to revisit these characters and experience it all again. The outsiders ravage our lands in front of our eyes. I can't say without Denis there's no Dune, but without Denis there's definitely not there's definitely not this Dune. This is Denis Villeneuve's vision. I think Zendaya would say the same. I would say the same. We are all cogs in the machine of Denis' vision. 
we just became friends like that. And uh, I don't know, it shows in the movie, but we're just, we're just buds. It wasn't really hard at all. I think it's the mass of people, the sound. It's, it's exciting. It pumps you, you know. You become a part of a bigger picture than just sort of looking at yourself, scrutinizing something. It's, it's, it's all of it. This is my hometown, so I'm, I, this is a dream come true for me. London. Guys, have you booked tickets yet? Are you looking forward to June? I mean, it's been hyped so much. I've seen it and I can tell you it was beautiful, awesome. Definitely not what I expected in a good way. It's also incredibly long, guys. It's almost three hours. So if you are going to the cinema, I suggest go to an afternoon showing. If you're going to a later showing, make sure you're not tired because you might just drift off because the music is just so chilled and soothing. Um, guys, subscribe, turn your notifications on and I'll be back soon with more videos. Take care. Bye.